Janet with Try It Like It Create It and today we're going to be working on making a candle for Christmas. So what I have in front of me here, um, and most items are from the Dollar Tree, is I have an actual um, wax candle and that's, you're going to need that. Um, some parchment paper and then the napkin we want to work with and a pair of scissors to cut the napkin. So to begin, we're going to um, take out our napkins here, and I'm just going to cut into the packaging. There we go. And all we need is one napkin for this project. Alright, and then I'm going to open that napkin up and measure on the decorated side how much of the the decoration we're going to need and so I am just going to grab a pencil here if I can find one um, oh, okay looks like my pencil is missing but I'm just gonna measure from along that top edge and I am just lining up my candle and making a few marks <clears throat> And then we'll know <clears throat> excuse me, where to cut. Now, you can um, use a ruler. I am just going to use my box of parchment paper here because it's a straight edge. Um, but for you, a ruler would work great if, if you're not comfortable doing this. I'm just trying to save you on some tools and show you alternatives. All right, so I'm making that mark all right i'm just a little bit off um from what i need and that's okay and so now i'm going to go ahead and cut along the fold and along the bottom of the napkin And the other parts can get taken away. So now we have this nice decoration that's going to fit around the outside of our candle. And we just want to check the measurement this way. And because, I don't know if you can see, there's a pattern, a stamped pattern here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that away. I don't want that on my candle and then with the label still in place I am going to wrap this around okay and I'm just using the edge I'm lining up on the edge of that sticker there um, or label just so I can see where I want to cut here all right now, either you can make marks or you can fold, but you basically want, let's try it this way, you basically want those to wrap around and just touch on that edge. So, once again, I'm going to take my pencil here and draw myself a line, and I don't want those things to overlap okay so with that line drawn um, it's really hard to see it on camera but I can see a ghost image of it and I am just going to cut right along that line so now what we're going to do is of course unwrap our candle here
And notice that it has a protective cover on it. So I want to take that off. And for some reason, my candle came with a little bit of dirt on it. And so I'm just going to see if I can work that off without damaging it too much. My candle has a vanilla scent to it and it is rather strong, I will tell you. Okay, so I have unwrapped my candle and I have cleaned off um, the stain that was on there and actually ended up having to just scrape it a little bit with my nail. Um, it didn't come off with water. Um, and then I tore off a piece of parchment paper here um, that's bigger than the napkin piece that's going to wrap around the candle. So the next step is that we want to peel the layers away from our napkin and we want to get down to just the single printed layer. Um, now it was easier to cut your napkin without um, pulling the layers apart and so that's why we're doing it now as opposed to prior to cutting. Okay, because this is now pretty delicate and um, it will become, you know, harder to cut when it's just this thing, single layer. So now I'm going to take it to my candle and wrap it around. And if you want to apply a little bit of glue to hold it in place, you surely can do that. I am not going to. I am just going to hold it in place. I'm going to align it along the top edge of my candle. All right, and then if by chance I have any excess, I want it down at the bottom of my candle. So I'm just going to make sure I have everything where I want it before I move forward to the next step. All right, so that looks good to me. And I do have ever so little bit extra at the bottom and that's okay. Now, holding this in place, I'm going to wrap my parchment paper around the candle. And that is going to then hold my napkin in place. All right, now, once I have this held down well, I'm going to bring in my heat gun and we're just going to start heating the candle. So here's our finished napkin wrapped candle. Now, um, when I started heating it with the parchment wrapped around it, I started at the seam. And so that way it would hold and um, as I needed to unwrap and move to the next section um, that was now attached. Then after um, I moved and I've gotten all around the candle and the wax has come through uh, the napkin, I just took the wax paper away or the parchment paper away and then um, just ran the heat gun uh, around the candle again to give it a little bit more of a glossy finished look.